Hi, welcome to Kuku Visual Treats. Today we are going to paint uh, digital art and uh, Photoshop based. So I'm using Wacom 1 and uh, the Photoshop latest Photoshop I'm using. So let me show you um, how to do a simple Photoshop based digital art. Let me share my Photoshop. So here we go. Um, so right side, what you see is my sketch and the left side is my reference photo. So we are going to make a digital art. Um, so we have a couple of options. So you can use the uh, photo reference as such. Um, so right side, you can see uh, four layers. The top layer is my sketch. I'm turning it off. So below we have this photo itself. Uh, that also I'm turning it off. Then the first layer, you see this, this is the reference. I am trying to keep it in the left side. Um, left side. So when you check my canvas size, I'll control I. It is at, uh, 2300 something. Uh, height is 1000 pixels, 200 resolutions. This is good enough uh, so that you don't have the latency uh, when you work with multiple layers. But depend, it depends actually if you want a bigger size, you can work with a bigger resolution. Um, so for the demonstration purpose, this is good enough. Uh, so I have this in the left side and here is the horse. And now I can draw over this horse, but I always want my version. Um, so I want the neck to be little up and uh, the legs to be um, also the leg, folded leg, that, that also to be little up. That's why I, I sketched in my in a paper. So the scanned it and trying to have it here. Um, um, so I'm trying to use this. So you can also, if you want, so I'm trying changing the opacity. So it looks like a sketched decent enough. It is almost same uh, except the uh, head actually. The head, the neck is a little up. So th that's how I want and. Uh, the leg also little up that you can see so i wanted to stylize and change it this way and background also completely i'm going to change it um, okay so this is how this is how it is i'm creating a new layer so i'm going to sketch now so i'm just taking the pen tool uh, so the first thing i'm going to do is fill it with the a middle tone then after that some dark tone and light tone let's see um, so i'm going very close just starting from this location so you have to practice a little bit for the pen um, so this is how i'm trying to So if you want very smooth, your handle and the curves has to be bigger actually. Um, and the close, uh, the point can be closer also. So I'm just using Alt and whenever you want to change the direction, you can use Alt. another point I want here so maybe uh, if you practice enough then uh, this may be very easy to work with uh, pen don't want the curve we can directly just go on and click it Alt and 
change the you can drag the handles and change their directions if you want okay, so now uh, by pressing alt and change the direction of this Correct to this. gentle curve around this knee even uh, you can uh, <clears throat> think about using the lasso tool curls may not be very smooth so just to get a smoother curve smoother surface so try to use this There are <clears throat> two characteristic beautiful curves in the chest. You can break the handle always uh, for the next curve that it work with. back to the starting point now so I'm breaking this curve like this again breaking the curve okay done so we have made the outline um, so the final changes always you can do it I have not included the tail and the hair in the back. So right click, make <clears throat> selection and say OK. Okay, this 
selection is happening so i'm going to give uh, so you can change you can whatever the color you like you can think about uh, giving so i'm just filling with this color thinking can be a little bit more of uh, reddish okay so this i like it this is good so <clears throat> now control d and deselect so i'm turning it off this is what we have done from this okay so good so i want to do one more thing so you can when you make multiply and you are it is going to uh, multiply with the success, next layer so i'm seeing the sketch also some people sometimes if required you can keep the sketch layer on the top now this i'm going to give for our body right for okay so now again taking the you can take the pen tool or laser tool also you can take I'm going to cut this part. Uh, I'm going to cut this part. So I'm going to select and cut this part. I'm just selecting this area around this. We have these lines, uh, closer points, if required. Okay, done. Make selection. I'm doing say okay. Just okay. Make it a normal layer. This is what I feel done. Okay, so this is very good. Um, what next? So we can start working on. Um, things by looking at the reference what i'm trying to this is sketch i'm going to make sketch and bring the sketch layer to the top and i would say multiply anyway i'm not going to use the horse the direct uh, photograph so this layer i'm going to delete um okay so this is what we have so so we can add these shadows so think about the shadows then um here is the sketch I have. Oh. Shadows. First, I'm going to um, so color whatever we I filled in the right side panel. You can see in the color. So, so relatively darker color. I'm going to choose. I'm taking from the bottom. So, I'm going to pick up a brush. So, I have a set of brush uh, in the drop down in the top as I have shown. So you can my brush it I will I will share in the description. So, so if you're interested, you can take my brush it. Um, so I'm going to take a texture brush. Six brush. This is what I'm taking. Uh, so how it works? You can just try working here. So let me go back. Okay, here is the sketching layer, and you have to select the right color. Before that, <coughs> I can um, there is option I can select the so taking the lasso tool, and uh, I'm going to select this area where. I'm going to apply this little darker color. Okay. 
this area i'm just liberally selecting all of this 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 is what i've selected okay so now um going to apply the brush in this area i don't want to see the sketching layer i'm turning it off okay <clears throat> what is the color this is pick now i get this color darker thing right so I'm, the same thing um when i'm picking a little darker tone with the brush and applying the brush like this it's coming out of boundary of the horse so it's enabling lock pixels so now it is applying only within the bounds okay so this is good uh, um, so it has to be dull and also the, i don't want to lose the color so it's picking a color another color and, okay so this is okay for me so not going to uh, top so it's giving me a uh, uh, boundary to the right and left okay so this is good enough so if required come back later maybe take a little darker tone and just add it here okay so this is too much darker <clears throat> so this 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 is good enough okay so this is what i have done now So, I mean, directly also I can we can paint like this, lighter tone, darker tone, all that. Um, and, uh, like this. Uh, so in the in the. In, in the back there there has to be a separation between um, two legs okay so we have to work on that so the same thing we can do that um, we can select the area and make darker tones right um, okay so take the lasso tool um, running on my sketch okay so this is the area i've uh, selected so i'm picking a darker tone taking a brush and trying to apply here okay so this is good sketch um disabling the sketch okay so i will to work on this darker tone here so there is a little reddish color also Trying to add that color also a little bit. Okay, so this is good enough. Control D. So we are getting this shape. If you want to shape correction, if you really want it to be smooth, so I can pick up this. Color. I'm just taking the same brush, small. So trying to work on edges. I'm just a little bit working on the edges. I'm just trying to make it not so sharp. little bit of changing the shape also go back and see very sharp okay so i'm okay with this here also i'm just touching so i don't want 
to be extremely sharp and so i'm fine with this okay so we can so other things we can work on selected and uh, so say around this neck here it is i wanted this to be more darker the darker tone i'm trying to take and just apply here so here i got this sharp edge so, so i'm okay i'm happy with this area reference with the sketch and take this darker tone I can maybe select another brush sketch 4 so this is what I am selecting making sure shape dynamics is on ok so just trying to make a again okay so now I'm going to make the line um so, so I'm coming to the horse layer and it's made I so like this I 
Okay, so I want to leave it. Uh, let, let it be kind of stylish. Um, I am going to small. Sorry, dark color and so I want rough lines like this. So I just made So this is what I've done. Maybe let me see. I'm just making some lighter line. So selecting darker, right? A little darker here is good enough. Just be a bit. Let me make some shadows. So shadow is happening here. Trying to make a little darker for this eye. Okay, so I don't want to do anything more. We can leave uh, it like. Okay, so let me take the less tool and uh, try to define. Let me look at the sketch for the shape of the leg. want to make this area a little darker. Generally, you don't have to do exactly the same thing. Okay, so this is good.
Kanka tone. Light and dark tones. If required, you can pick up the tone from the friends. But try to have a practice of uh, deciding your own tone by picking it from the color pattern. So that way you can have a better control. Okay, good. So, I'm using less of the tool if you are interested. I mean, if it's required, you, even you can do the pen tool. I'm not trying to work. I mean, uh, <clears throat> select like these textures actually. So, trying to give good emphasis on the textures should come. <clears throat> the finished artwork, um, the viewer should be able to see the texture very well. That's the idea. Okay, so I'm working on only shaders now. The highlights will work a little later. Always try to use a uh, possible bigger, uh, possible bigger texture size of the brush possibly can be bigger.
Okay, so for so good. good. Um, so let's work on the highlight a little bit. on only the necessary highlights we have to give good, good importance to the shadows Okay, so okay, so you keep it with both as well. So it may give an impression of um, details. Going to make one more here. A little bit. Uh, uh, so there also I'm making. Okay, done. It's all done in the horse layer. Um, I'm just creating another layer uh, for the tail. So there is another brush. Um, I think it is a better brush which might suit the need the texture 4 m texture 4 so that Okay, so now I got what I want. I got disconnected. I'm this is what I want. Um, so 
So without worrying about uh, light and shade, I'm just working on it. For me, this is good enough. Uh, next, uh, so can think about working on this hair in the back. So I <clears throat> do not recover a separate layer for this. So I'm going to do only with this layer. First, uh, take a darker tone. Lot of hats, same thing with the tail also. Okay. 
Okay, so, so, so you can work uh, till you are satisfied. So make these things then. So I'm done with this. I'm going to create a simple background. think about using the pen tool but so I'm just using the laser tool and the free hand so, yeah. trying to create a simple landscape first I'm going to fill with some medium green body and day so both uh, group them and take it so now you can see the legs of the horse again so I'm going to choose this dust set so you can vary the tones here and just in this I'm trying to take a little darker tone. Just trying to add few texture lines. Pixel lock so that this tree I have to go back. So there is a stroke which has made outside the selection now. I'm locking the pixels now. I'm going to put within this. Trying to pick a lighter color and Gently make few lines like this. Let me create another layer. Maybe I would select a little darker background for this. So select a pixel lock and of texture lines selecting bit of lighter tone and repeating the same hmm. is good enough Let me go for another layer. So to this can be more lighter.
some texture always try to make it look better okay for the background again you can think about think about any color what you like you can think about adding some trees also for the background let me go for this color little turquoise color and so you can think about um, gradient also okay so just picking this gradient tool and i'm going to set the color the light color could be this Okay, so this is cool. I kind of like it. So I like to add some darker shadow. Probably in the first background layer, what we did. So there, itself I can think of adding it. So I will pick a darker tone in the same. Your family <clears throat> again. This is uh, structure burst and prime diet. Okay, so maybe this is good. This is good. So we can crop it, and uh, <clears throat> so if you want in the background some clouds, can add that also. Even there are cloud brushes, you can use them. But I'm go just going to use the texture brush. sure if uh, a presence of a sun will be a good idea but let me try um, still thinking where to place the sun Maybe uh, so I'll try to place it here. <clears throat> um,
this sun has to go behind the background layers this sun is giving too much of contrast it should be in the top Anyway, I think it is giving me some energy, so this is good enough. Uh, so we are done with this. Maybe um, we can think of uh, creating an adjustment layer. Let me play with uh, color balance. I think it is good as such. So a little bit change only I have done it. Let me um, brightness, contrast, and levels. Levels is a maybe an easy increase the contrast a little bit. So this is looking cool. Okay, so I'm trying to play with the tones also. So right now I have this photo filter and uh, I'm just curious about the cooling. Uh, sepia. Okay, so I like the sepia effect, so I'm fixing it. done with this, so I'm going to do the cropping. Okay, so this is our finished art for. Hope you like it. Okay, have a good day. And if you like this video, share with your friends also. I'm Murli Ranagar, artist from Chennai. So I take uh, art classes, uh, pencil sketching, oil pastels, and watercolor, acrylics, uh, portrait drawing, figurative drawing, and uh, digital art as well. So you can check my website and uh, check with me if you're interested to join. Have a good day. Bye-bye.